shocking images of the unprecedented attacks on the world's cultural heritage by extremists. Never before in recent history have we seen such brutal and systematic destruction of cultural heritage used as a tactic of war to intimidate populations and disseminate hatred. The destruction of heritage is a war crime. I also know from conversations with members of the Security Council that they are aware of this growing danger of not only the deaths and destruction of people, which we must never forget, but that we also take away their history, their identity. There is a grave responsibility on the members of the Security Council to deal with this problem, and there is also grave responsibility for the member states, the countries in the region, to do what they can to stop this horror. This is a danger not only for Iraq, but for all of humankind. This is why we have a shared responsibility to protect this culture, because it is the culture and civilization of humankind. We have an urgent need of support to fight against trafficking. We will work together. I have come here to represent UNESCO with a strong message of support and solidarity with the Iraqi people in a very difficult and challenging times. We have to act. We don't have time to lose because extremists are trying to erase the identity because they know that if there is no identity, there is no memory, there is no history. UNESCO has spared no effort in mobilizing all major stakeholders in a global coalition to protect heritage. The coalition includes governments, notably those of Italy and Jordan. UNESCO has brought together experts to assess damages and craft emergency responses in close cooperation with its networks and heritage stakeholders, including conservation professionals on the ground. What we were trying to do, and we, I think, succeeded in doing it, it's putting the dots together, putting the security concerns and the destruction of culture, cultural uh, diversity, and protecting of heritage on the same, uh, I would say, level. UNESCO is working with Interpol, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, the World Customs Organization, the International Institute for the Unification of Private Law, and major players on the art market as well as museums. It has brought together law enforcement professionals and technical agencies, notably police, including Italy's Carabinieri, to curb the illicit trafficking in cultural objects and help member states implement Security Council Resolution 2199. The resolution establishes a ban on the trade of cultural objects from Iraq and Syria and recognizes that the illicit trafficking of objects of art finances terrorism. Nous avons récupéré pendant la crise 6000 objets faits par la police et la douane Interpol syrienne et nous avons remarqué nous avons une estimation sur la qualité des objets mais il y a autant des objets qui sont partis en Europe mais on ne sait pas exactement. We're hoping to get is a systematic picture of the illicit trafficking of archaeological objects in Germany, also effective methods to gather data in this area, and I think and we're hoping that this may be also a contribution to the implementation of Resolution 2199 on a national level. There will be a time when peace returns to the regions, and when that moment arrives, it would be tragic to find that most of these nations' cultural heritage has been lost. Our expertise, our drive to protect humanity's great works and our commitment to the enlightenment of all counteract those who would throw the world into a darkness to further their cause. The threat is global and our response must be global. We must respond with more culture, with more knowledge, with more education to protect our heritage.